Hello and welcome to another popper video. Today we're playing blue white familiars. This deck is super awesome. It is one of the most fun decks to play in the format and most powerful as well, perhaps. But Sunscape Familiar, the namesake of the deck, give, makes green and blue spells you cast cost one less to cast. And I'm making a couple of changes to tweak to the metagame, which I think is very solid. And you can check out the sideboard guide for this deck on Patreon, patreon.com slash So we've got the Familiar for cost reduction, God Ferris Faithful to stay alive forever, Modern Age plus Deep Analysis as a huge value draw engine plus stall and a win con. Our 2-3 Flyer is really great at blocking in the air as well as actually attacking for lethal. And then I'm playing 3 straight up Counterspell, which has been a topic of contention in the Familiars Discord, which you can join in the description below. But this Counterspell is obviously somewhat costly when we have a lot of non-blue pips in our mana base. But overall, I think that this does the best job at disrupting the things that are the most um, brutal against Familiars, which is something like land destruction or monarch or initiative so having counterspell i think is very useful and then my disruption of my own i also have four snaps and then one destroy evil and one domineer cleric both cleric and destroy evil are doing the same thing in that they can kill in all the glitters but domineer cleric can block on the ground and gain life and destroy evil can kill a terror as well as something like a mirror enforcer or some the creature that has all the glitters on it like a thraben inspector that's been suited up so that is why I'm playing these two. They do the same thing, but also different things, and I think that that's useful. In the sideboard, I'm playing four or three Dust to Dust and three Hydroblast, and then I have one Prismatic Strands, which I can use against Red or Terror, one Circle of Protection Blue, which I can use against Terror, one Last Breath, which I can use against Little Creature Decks or Fey, or even the Mirror, two Prohibits for decks that are more low to the ground, low curve, like Burn or Oral Synth, deck like that, maybe even Fey. Two Loose Focus, which are anti-emblem and also very good in Counter Wars. They can come in against Gardens or Land Destruction or stuff like that. And then we have two Nature's Chant, which also can be used against Glitters. So overall, I feel like it's very well balanced. I've been having a lot of success with this list. I accidentally trophied with a 14 card sideboard, which is <laughs> funny where these two lose focus were one singleton copy of Counterspell, but I'm updating the sideboard guide and my list to be this way. So um, make sure to like and subscribe on this video if you want to check out all the awesome content, hopefully awesome content that I'm putting out, and leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the deck. Check out Pondering Popper as well, which is podcast linked below. Right now it's an RSS feed, and I'm working on getting it onto Apple, but it's a Spotify-based podcast. This video is brought to us by cardmarket.com, which is awesome. Thank you for the support from Card Market. They are the world's largest online trading card marketplace. Uh, check out them if you want to pick up the sweet cards from this deck, which we will promo a little bit as we go along. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the matches. Okay, we're here in round one versus Luffy. So we're on the play, that's awesome. He's been playing Glitters type decks, and we have a pretty awesome opening hand. We're going to keep. We've got that Snap, uh, which you can check out on Card Market, of course, for only a, a few bucks. Let's pass. My plan is to cycle for... Uh, there's the Springleaf Drum. We're going to cycle for a Plains and then go Familiar Preordain, most likely. They play Glinhawk, picking up the Th Ornithopter. All right, I'm going to... Cycle, grabbing the planes. I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and play out the familiar. I didn't draw any other things to do. Next turn I can go faithful snap, faithful preordain if I want to. Let's see if they have, nope, no removal spell. We're gonna get in for two. Okay, faithful, play chancery, pick up the planes and just preordain here. Counterspell, deep analysis. Hmm, I think both are fine. Maybe Counterspell is not really where I want to be, but you can kind of see what's going on with me playing Counterspell in the deck at this point. If we snap their creature, we'll generate a blue, and then we can just cast the Deep Analysis and hold up Counterspell for later. Uh, they're chunking out a bunch of Ginger Brutes and Mirror Enforcers. Classic Luffy draw. Okay, block a bunch of things. All right, um, let's go 
God Pharaoh's faithful. Let's snap Mirror Enforcer. Okay, we still can't hold up Counterspell here. So I guess that's a whoops. Let's Deep Analysis. Draw some cards. Preordain. Make some more life. Faithful is just crazy good in this deck. Don't think I want these cards right now. Let's bottom. Learn Revealed is solid, but I'm gonna just... I guess at this point it's better to Modern Age pitching the Counterspell. We drew another Counterspell. Okay. So value here for me for drawing the Modern Age and getting to kind of set up my draws. They have the Mirror Enforcer again. Glenhawk picking up Ancient Den. Plays the Ancient Den. Plays all the Glitters it looks like. On the Ornithopter. They're attacking for a very large amount. Doot, 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 doot. So this is 10, 12, 16. Okay. Draw and discard. So I guess I want to discard the Familiar. Play land. Play Dawnbringer Cleric, destroying their all the glitters. And then I'm going to draw two cards. Go to seven life. I didn't ephemerate. It's not super good. Let's see what happens here. We're definitely gonna have to block all the mirror enforcers. They have another all the glitters, but we have a counter spell. So we're gonna go to nine. Okay, creatures unblockable. Creatures unblockable. So that's a lot of damage. Eight, 12, 13, 14. Block. The block here. This is four damage. If I don't block, it's four, five, six, ten damage. So I have to block. Okay. We're at three, unfortunate. I could just go block here. Hmm. I feel like the best bet is to just play Loring Revealed here, hoping to draw a snap, find a preordain. Doesn't help. All right, they got me. Just dump their entire hand and play to all the glitters and win the game. Fair enough. Bring in the Nature's Chance and the Dust to Dust. Then I'm gonna cut the counter spells and bring in loose focus, cutting arcane answer deep analysis and an ephemerate. Could bring in another loose focus. Don't think there's anything else I want to cut though, so I think this is good here. I like having the flicker for eventuality, but that should be fine. Um, let's keep this. Grab a planes, play the faithful, turn to the chancery. If I draw Dust to Dust, I can just play it, or I can go Faithful Preordain. Let's grab the planes and pass. They play a Rust Veil Bridge and an Ornithopter. Pass the turn. Okay, I got my League Score on. Let's play the Faithful, play the Chancery, pick up the planes. Let's see if we rip a Dust to Dust. <laughs> so Faithful Preordain is our plan. Plays a Relic. Okay. Podcast. Doesn't do anything else. We rip the dust to dust. We're gonna get rid of your lands then. Nice. We played to our outs and got rewarded. They're gonna exile my dust to dust from the graveyard. Pretty much fine. Plays with Raven Inspector. All right, faithful. Nature's chant your land. Land, play a preordain. I'm looking for an untapped land so I can, all right, that's good. Take the untapped land, I can play the Mold Drifter next turn. They're gonna get rid of my preordain here with the relic. I guess I could just slam the Lorien Revealed as well. They're probably going to have Pyroblast. I want three cards, I guess. All right, we found a Nature's Chant. I guess we can get rid of the Chant here. Plays a land. And do they Glitters? We're at 25 right now. Play a Mirror Enforcer. And Glinthawk picks up the Ornithopter and replays it. Well, let's play Faithful. So what do I want to kill here? I guess nothing. Play the Chancery, pick up the Planes, play the Modern Age, and then we can pitch the Planes. We're pretty ahead, so I think I'm going to just blow up the Relic and pass. So next turn I can Drifter, Flicker, Drifter if they tap out, and nothing that they have is unblockable yet. All the Glitters on their Glenhawk gets in for 14. Okay, plays a Glenhawk. So we're looking for a Snap, I guess. My turn, draw a card and discard. We're going to discard this island. Snap a Glenhawk. Bye to your glitter creature. We're still at 17. Let's evoke the Drifter. Gain some more life. Faithful is just so good. 
Okay, we win the game. That turn three uh, dust to dust was pretty solid, not gonna lie. Let's try it again. Okay, so this hand we're gonna keep because we can go land, cycle for the um, white land, play the white land, and then turn three dust to dust. We have turn three dust to dust, turn four dust to dust. I mean, you gotta keep that. Luffy plays the Razor Tide Bridge. I do like all these really awesome old order bridges, but I just decided not to pick them up. Hopefully the Archaeomancer here and the Archaeomancer that we're showing off here. This one is <laughs> not quite as solid as the really awesome Secret Lair one, but it will be able to pick up our Dust to Dust. All right, let's play the Floodplain, pass the turn. I wonder if he's got any rebukes at all. Plays a Synthesizer. Finding a Thraven Inspector, plays a land, plays a Thraven Inspector, and a Thoughtcast. Okay, so we're just going to go after these two duels. We'll take the one. All right. Land, kill your duels. You play a Glinhawk, picking up the Synthesizer. Finds a Ginger Brute. Gets in. We're going to kill your land and your Frogmite. Play a land, pass the turn. So his next turn is going to be Faithful plus Arcane Mancer for Dust to Dust. Take it in. We play Land. Play Faithful. Play Arcane Mancer. Get back Dust to Dust. Pass the turn. We'll be taking two damage. If they don't play a Land, I'll just Drifter Ephemerate, but... Okay, they kill my Faithful. Solid. Alright. Let's see what we should do here. Let's go Familiar into Drifter Ephemerate. If we find a Snap, we can Snap something. Let's just ephemerate the Mole Drifter. Play a off-color land, unfortunately, and pass the turn. So we have blocks now. I'm gonna definitely trade the Mole Drifter on the Glenhawk if I can. Yep, trade. Okay, they're gonna kill my Arcane Answer. That's fine. You're going to ephemerate on the Familiar. Doesn't really do anything. Play a Faithful, blow up your land, and draw three cards. We win the game. All right, so that's how it's done. Get all the dust to dusts. <laughs> we'll see in round two. Round two, so this hand is kind of s like slow maybe, but we do have a cantrip. We have the chancery, which is really good. I'm right for later. I think it's probably keepable. We're on the draw. So we're probably going to land into preordain. See what strudel 420 is up to. Our opponent mulligans to five. Plays a draw Sforge Bridge, so it could be just regular affinity. All right, I think I want to just play a land, and then I'm going to cycle, trying to thin, and then next turn preordain when I know exactly what's going on. Uh, that's annoying. Duress. I guess they take the preordain here. So this must be Goblin combo then. Okay. That's the only thing that I know of that likes to play Duress and Bridges. Okay, we find a Faithful. Let's play the land. Pick up the island. Next turn we'll play our tap land and our faithful. They play a swamp. And a fanatical offering. Gotta be goblin combo. So post board. Looking at the hydroblasts. The prohibit, lose focus. Play a faithful. Play a floodplain, pass the turn. Opponent plays a mountain. Billy just have it. Hold the four. Two free. All right, so now they have first day of class. They can make infinite red mana, and we just get to see what they do. I'll just sit around. There is a chance that they whiff, so we have to wait and see. All right, never mind. Okay, that was lame. So we'll bring in the Hydro Blasts. Destroy Evil and Cleric are not that good. Faithful, I usually like to cut just all the counter spells. We have a million, million counter spells. Snap's not that good. Prismatic Strands could be okay, but probably isn't that good. Let's just uh, counterspell them into the ground. Okay, I'd like to play first. So I guess I can grab a Plains and have to prohibit turn two and then counterspell turn three. Or I can get an Island and then play Island and then cycle for the dual land, which might set me up better for later. So I guess I'm keeping this. I'm trying to decide if I want Island or but if they duress me turn one, then I will be really sad. I guess either way I'll be sad. <clears throat> they mulligan to five again. I'm going to grab an island. 
It's pretty likely they have a tap land. Yep, okay. They land. That's the turn. Play a land. Dramatic star, okay. I will cycle for my dual land. Grabbing the floodplain. Then I'll untap, play the floodplain, and pass the turn. So basically I'm just holding up counter spells. I'll counter any of their combo creatures. Yeah, counter. Do I want to counter that? Like, they could just unearth it later, but I think I'm countering just to use my mana. Stopping them from getting anywhere. That's like a two for one. Play the Mortuary Mire and pass the turn. Getting my tap lands out of the way. I'm trying to get to the point where I can actually cast a deep analysis. They don't do anything. They're probably going to Deadly Dispute. All right, let's play land. Pass the turn. We can counter the Deadly Dispute with the Lose Focus. Counter. No cards, thank you. All right, they draw a card off the Chromatic Star, but that's fine. They have four lands now. Matron, okay. Maybe they get, they get a one drop, I can counter that. Kirk Prospector, all right. They're not gonna play it, sort of surprising. All right, we have a land, so now we can cast the Deep Analysis, which is awesome. Pass the turn. Next turn I have Drifter Ephemerate, or I could Preordain looking for another counter spell. But at this point, like, I probably just want to focus on countering the first day of class, because I only have one in hand. I'm gonna get in for one damage. Their creatures are not super big, so I'm not that concerned. Plays a Dark Dweller Oracle. I'm gonna counter. Plays a Rakdos Carnarium. All right, uh, let's preordain, looking for a counter spell. Find a loose focus and a snap. Loose focus might work out. I'll bottom the snap, top the loose focus, and then let's Drifter Ephemerate. Look the Mold Drifter. See if I can draw into a Hydroblast. That would be Premier at this point. Let's Ephemerate. And if they counterspell with a Red Blast, we have a loose focus. All right. I mean, Loose Focus is not going to do me any any favors on this given turn. Like, if they have it here, I'm probably dead. Looks like they're not attacking. Plays first day of class. Okay. Plays Intro to Prophecy. So they're, they're flooded on first day of class, it looks like, and they're just trying to find their other creature. If they play Prospector here, we can counter it. But they don't. Cycle for an island. So they have two, three, four, five, six. They have up to seven mana. We ephemerate the Moldrifter. Where's my Hydros? Okay, I find a Familiar, which is good. Play the Familiar. I'm going to Chancery, picking up the Ash Barons, and then I'm going to Modern Age and discard the Ash Barons. Hmm. And then let's just Flicker here. So I'm using that extra mana that I had and trying to draw into a Counterspell. <coughs> so we can tax them six, and we find a Hydroblast. So I'm feeling solid about this now. We have double counter. I think I can probably discard the Chancery at this point and just focus on adding uh, untapped lands. Although the Modern Age is going to, you know, draw and discard something. But I think I think we're in a position where we're ahead. Deadly Dispute. Okay. They sacrificed their land, so it doesn't really put them up on mana. But they do get to get two cards. And the scary position is when they have, like, Tons and tons of card draw. They have a Jukabog. Okay, we lose our Ghosty Flicker and an Ephemerate. That's definitely not amazing. <laughs> I forgot that uh, they have the one of Bajukabog in their deck. I mean, we just have to attack them. Mesmeric Fiend. Just going to counter that. Replicate one. Then if they choose to sacrifice their Matron to pay for the Replicate, I'll shoot the Skirk Prospector. They don't pay. Unearth on the Matron. Okay. They should have unearthed the Mesmeric Fiend, I guess. But they probably only had the one. They reveal a Putrid Goblin. Yep. So now they can Sacrifice, Sacrifice, cast First Day of Class. So if they have First Day of Class and Pyroblast, I'm dead. Or at least uh, they have the opportunity to kill me. We're going to counter the First Day of Class. You have a Pyroblast. They have Pyroblast. Okay, so they have to be able to kill me with their top deck here. So they have three looks. All right, let's see how they scry. They cast the introduction to prophecy. Hopefully they go bottom, bottom scoop. They went bottom, bottom. We're passing the turn. Okay. We draw a Hydroblast. We can discard this Preordain, play land. 
the Archaea Mance are getting back Hydroblast. And then I can cast a Moldrifter. I have double Hydroblast available now. And you're going to take two damage. Donk. I really wish they had the secret layer Archaea Mancer. I got this one in paper, but it's just... I want that on Magic Online. All right, they cast another Putrid Goblin. Sure. I mean, we don't have the blockers for it, but we're going to get a Modern Age in a second here. All right. So we're going to attack for four. And then I guess cast Lorien Revealed and see what's up. Good at 14. Lorien Revealed. Find a Familiar. Play the Familiar. I will play, I guess play a Chancery. Pick up a Island. And then cast a Modern Age. And just discard a land. Um, I suppose I could snap the Skirk. Probably not necessary right now. We have to focus on not decking because we don't have the Ephemerate or the uh, Ghostly Flicker. A Fanatical Offering. Okay, sacrificing their future Goblin. Maybe now's a good time to kill the Skirk Prospector. That's nah, fine. Of note, they can map this so that if they draw something, it can just go back to being normal. Deadly Disputes the Goblin away. They're paying mana. They Deadly Dispute sacrificing the map token, it looks like. Five cards in hand now. We have two Hydroblasts. We could snap the Arcane Mancer to get back to lose focus. Maybe that's okay. Play like our Wellspring. All right. Next turn, they're going to take six damage. No attacks from our opponent. Four cards in hand. I'm going to draw. Discard this Ash Barons. Attack for six. And then let's draw three cards and then cast the Modern Ages. Okay, draw three. Find a Counterspell. All right, so now that I have so many counters and stuff, I think I can start spewing them. Let's Modern Age and discard the Preordain. And then I'm going to snap and replay the Moldrifter, generating a blue mana. Maybe that doesn't really generate blue mana. Just turns the snap into a draw two. Draw two cards. Let's Modern Age discard the planes. I have to not deck. And... Go ahead and Hydroblast the Skirk. I will snap the Goblin now. And then next turn I can just Counterspell the Goblin. They're pretty out of action. I have three answers. And they're dead in two turns. They play a land. They pass the turn. So we have double Modern Age triggers here. We're going to discard Preordain. Discard Chancery. Play Island. Mancer getting back a Hydroblast. And that's all she wrote. Send for seven. I think we have enough counters. I think we have enough counters. <laughs> okay, you're at one. Now, winning on the draw is going to be a lot harder, given we only have a couple of Hydroblasts. I don't think it matters to counter this. I have so many answers for their end game. Like, I'm not going to worry about it. Plays the Putrid Goblin. Let's counter that. And they scoop it up. We had very many answers in hand. All right, so I guess maybe there's a chance that I want to try to like dust their lands. Is that better than snap? Maybe like one of dust is better than a snap? Or like we can cut. Hmm. Some people also like to have the Dawnbringer Cleric. Just don't feel like that's that good. But is Dawnbringer Cleric better than a snap? I think my deck is fine. Some of those, some of those minor changes might be useful. I just don't think it's absolutely necessary. If anything, you'd be cutting on, like, the uh, Arcane Mancer or the bigger slots. All right, so we're on the draw. We have turn two Prohibit. I guess I keep. They're playing a Bajookabog. Kind of feels like they have a... Okay, we have a Hydroblast. Let's play the Floodplain and pass. Getting my tap lands out of the way. Plays a land. Plays Icker Wellspring. So I'm expecting a Deadly Dispute here which I'm going to try to counterspell. Pass the turn. Plays a land. We have no red mana. Okay. All right, I will play a land. We don't really have to do anything. We just have to stop them from doing things. And I don't want them to have a deadly dispute because that gives them red mana. Obviously, they're going to draw the card off the Wellspring regardless. We have a couple of Hydroblasts still. Plays a Swamp and a Putrid Goblin. Okay. Let's start on... A preordain. Okay, I think both of these are good. 
play the Chancery and pick up the Island. Next turn I can Modern Age, discarding the Deep Analysis. They're going to get in for two. No problem. That's a long-term clock. It's like not that, not that scary. Cycles and Unearth. They wanted me to counter the Putrid Goblin, I guess. Okay, let's Modern Age. Discard the Deep Analysis, play a tap land, and pass the turn. Now they can Deadly Dispute, they Deadly Dispute a land. Okay, I guess that would have been a good position for me to snap the Putrid Goblin in response. I just F6 though. Whoops. So they can use this for one red mana, but what are they going to do with that? And on this next turn we can just Archaeomancer back to Prohibit, and then keep sitting. I'm going to, what should I do here? I think I should counter this. Because they currently don't have red mana, so I feel like that's important. They could unearth it now. Sure. First day of class and counterspell. It's def it's definitely tight right now. Not gonna lie. <sighs> okay, what do you got? Nothing. Great. That's what I like. Discard the Ash Barons. We'll play this. Play our Cam Answer. We will get back the Hydroblast and pass the turn. They deadly dispute their Prospector, or their Putrid Goblin. I'm going to Counterspell. They're so far behind. Okay, I think I can Hydroblast and then snap and replay the Arcane Answer, getting Counterspell. Hmm, maybe it's not necessary. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, play a Moldrifter. Looks like I should just cycle the Warrior Revealed for a land drop at this point. Okay, I'll get and play the Island, and I'm going to attack you for one. I could Hydroblast this. I'm a little bit nervous still at this point. They play an Icar Wellspring. But I think this is where on my turn I snap and replay just to get back Counterspell. Or maybe just Prohibit. If they Deadly Dispute the Wellspring here, I don't know what I should do. I guess I guess I just let that happen. Plays a Putrid Goblin again. Let's kill your Prospector. They're taking the red mana from the Prospector. It's floating it. Oh, it plays another one. That's pretty good. Let's draw two cards. We found an Ephemerate and a Prohibit. Let's cycle, grab an island, play the island, and then I guess I'm going to wait for them to do something, but I'll just swing out with the Moldrifter. Opponent, uh, sad about the RNG right now. Give me the where are my red lands. I don't know, man. I don't know. You didn't keep them. Must have removed them from your deck. You shouldn't side out the red lands. Let's counter. A first day of class, I'm going to Ephemerate. For them to get red mana, they have to sacrifice the Skirk Prospector here. We're going to Hydroblast the first day of class. Bonk. And then I guess F6. They have two more cards in hand. All right, Ephemerate, get back Ephemerate. Then we will Ephemerate for the Prohibit. Ephemerate, at this point I'm getting back Hydroblast. Attack for four. And then Modern Age pitching the Snap, it looks like. Let's see. I mean, we don't need that big of a clock, so maybe we can just pitch the other Modern Age. Yeah, that's maybe okay. Next turn, I can play an Arcane Answer to get back another Counterspell. Play a Matron. Okay. Grabs a Putrid Goblin. I will... Let's see. First, I'm going to Hydroblast. Oh, jeez. Destroy this. Okay. Now I feel fine about it. So I don't have any way to generate any more mana, and I have the loose focus. So now they have no red mana again. All right, we can Ephemerate. Get back the Ephemerate. We draw and draw. I will discard a Snap. Play Sunscape Familiar. Play a land. Play Arcane Answer. Get back Hydroblast. And then Ephemerate. Get back another Hydroblast. Or get back a Prohibit, in case they have Duress or something, and swing out. Bam! Our opponent goes to 9. Our hand is stocked. We have 3 cards, 3 counter spells. Ephemerate the Arcane Answer. Get back the Ephemerate. Do whatever I want, basically, at this point. Doodle to do. We're going to swing out. And then I'm going to Ephemerate the Moldrifter to draw some cards. And then, looks like I can just Flicker. Get back... Snap, get back counter, flicker, land, snap this one, flicker here, snap your putrid goblin, 
And then we'll just have everything be counterspelled on the way back down. Tap this one, flicker, get back to prohibit. And I think I'm just going to draw two cards. And let's cycle for an island. Last island in the deck. Oh no, can't play that island. I guess I'll just discard the Modern Age and then uh, let them scoop on their turn. Counterspell, pretty easy. Just uh, make sure that nothing in your hand resolves. Counterspell again. This one we can just lose focus since they're tapped out. Doink. They found the red land, congratulations. Ephemerate the Arcane Answer. Effect the Ephemerate. Play land and attack. Negative two, we win the game. Let's go to round three. Round three versus Yu Xiaoshu, I think. I don't know, I can't pronounce it. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. They've been on um, gardens and stuff like that. Like Jessica Ephemerate and gardens. I'm looking for counter spells. There's a counter spell. Don't think I need extra lands though. So depending on if they're Jeskai Ephemerate right now. Okay, it looks like Jeskai Ephemerate. Play my land and pass the turn. Then I'm gonna wanna cycle this Lorien Revealed or um, another land, like a dual land. They preordain. I could have tried to counter that, but I feel like I should be focused on counterspelling their um, wildfires. I think I'm going to cycle for the duel here, and I'll play the duel this turn and pass the turn. If they go for wildfire, I'm going to counterspell it and then untap Drifter Ephemerate. And even four cards there, even if we lose the Ephemerate, I think that the Amount it puts us ahead will be important and useful. Going for the wildfire. It's a counterspell. That's a nope for me, dog. You can find a destroy evil, which doesn't do that much. We could also just Moldrifter and or I mean Faithful and then Chancery Pass, but I feel like we just want the cards. They they could they most likely have a, a way to kill my Moldrifter in hand, but four cards is four cards. Play a land. If they don't have a removal spell, they're pretty host. They're going to Murmuring Mystic. Wow. <laughs> oh man, this is so good for me. Let's uh, Ephemerate the Moldrifter. My one of Destroy Evil in hand. Uh, kill that. And go ahead and go Modern Age. Discard a Faithful. Land. Let's Preordain. Counterspell Ephemerate. I'll keep both of those. That's the turn. That's really funny. The Faithfuls don't really do much, so we can afford to pitch them. But I didn't want to play the Chancery because they could have had this second Wildfire, which they did have. I didn't want them dealing with that. Oh, these uh, foils are not great because they come out looking very blurry. I don't like that very much. Scred's my uh, Moldrifter. It's fine. You can discard the Faithful. And then I think I'm just going to Manser, getting back Counterspell. I have double counterspell and ephemerate. Plays a land. They're passing the turn. All right. So let's see. I think I'm going to go Chancery, pick up an island. At this point, with the double counterspell, I think I'm fine to Modern Age. Discard another Chancery and attack for one. Okay, you're at 19. Cast a breath weapon. Okay. I'm focused on using the counterspells to stop their big draw spells like Lorien Revealed. Uh, Moldrifter to counter their Arcane Answer, things like that. There's a counter spell for the opponent. Find a Moldrifter. I mean, a, oh, there's a Moldrifter. You can discard this island. Play a familiar. Don't really care if they counter spell that. Let's play a Chancery, pick up an island, and attack you for f two. I might have all my basics already. That might be sketchy. They have counter spell and four unknowns. Passing the turn. No tax. Enku? Fine. I don't care about a uh, three power flyer. I could just draw a snap and get rid of their land. That feels, that would be pretty solid for me. We have hmm, another familiar for me. Okay, play that. Land, one, two. So we have double counterspell. Or we can drift or ephemerate and then counterspell twice. So they'd have to have count. Counterspell their counterspell. Let's just cast a Mold Drifter. And then I can ephemerate in response to the removal spell, maybe. They're not going to counterspell the Mold Drifter. And we draw a snap, but I'm not going to use it just yet. I want to see how low they're going to tap. 
They wildfire their land. Okay, that's fine. I'm way ahead on mana right now. Plays a preordain, holding one counterspell open. They go bottom bottom on the preordain. No tax. Let's cycle for an island. Well, actually, we don't have any islands left. Planes. <laughs> Almost out of basics. Snap, huh? All right. Uh, okay, step one, I'm going to snap your bridge. They're going to tap it for mana, most likely. They don't. Okay. That's sort of surprising. Now I will ephemerate my Moldrifter. That resolves. Uh, what? Okay, draw three cards. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's attack. Do to do. Play another Mancer. Or no. Yeah, it's another one. We already played one this game. I think they're dead. The counterspell. I will respond with a counterspell. Get an ephemerate. Ephemerate my arcane answer. Get back a counterspell. Okay. Your turn. Let's discard this preordain or the planes. I guess it's going to be. They're already at 13. I'll discard the planes. It's funny that we've actually drawn every land in our deck, or almost every land. There's just chanceries and mortuary mire left. They play a land, they pass the turn. Not looking good for them, and we win the game. All right, let's go to sideboarding. We can easily just cut all of the faithfuls and the cleric. We're bringing in basically all of our interaction here. That's seven cards. So we can cut down two snaps, or we can get rid of this destroy evil and leave a snap in. So which, which is better? We can also actually last breath. That's probably better than the destroy evil here. Because Last Breath can kill the Archaemancer or Moldrifter or the Erring Mystic, so that's fine. Post board here, we're on the draw, and we have no lands we can play, so we have to mulligan this one. We have one land. Snap can maybe go bottom. We can cycle this. I think we have to keep this one and probably get rid of the snap. Yeah. I would like to just try to preordain looking for another land. I play a tap land. Okay, here I'm going to play the island and pass. If they don't have a turn two wildfire, then I can counterspell their wildfire. They're going to hold up counterspell. So let's cycle, grab an island. <clears throat> There's nothing I think on turn three that they can play that I care that much about. We could also just go island into modern age. Let's try that. They might counterspell this. All right, that's fine, I think. Play the land. Okay, let's play uh, planes and pass. There's a land. Now I'm looking for another land off the top. No land. Let's preordain. Trying to find a land. Okay, flicker on the bottom. I do want the floodplain. I'll pass the turn. Now if they go drifter ephemerate, I can last breath their mold drifter in response to the ephemerate. They just play a land and pass. They evoke a mold drifter. So they're leaving open counterspell. Okay, drifter. Resolves, they go to six cards in hand. I find my own drifter. Let's play familiar. I'm thinking if I want to like use counterspell to stop a removal spell on the familiar, and I don't think I do. They're brainstorming. So likely a wildfire or an auger of bolus. And if they cast either of those, I think I want a counterspell to try to stuff their brainstorm and brainstorm lock them. But they have lots of cards in hand, so that might be a losing strategy. They're just passing. Hmm. All right, I guess I chancery and return the planes. Everybody's making land drops. We did whiff on one land drop, though. Brainstorming again. Plays another land. We only have one counterspell in hand. A preordain. Really wish I were cantripping here, too. <laughs> Last breath's not super useful in my hand right now. Another familiar. Okay, let's play the familiar, I guess. We'll pass. The next turn we can evoke a Moldrifter for one mana. They play a land. They must just be sitting on a bunch of red blasts. They're going to wildfire my land. Their land. Okay. We draw another island. I mean, as long as we're making land drops, we don't have to necessarily do anything. They wildfire their land again. They're making way more land drops than us. They wildfire their land again. Okay. I'm really uh, looking to draw a deep analysis here. Draw Lorien Revealed. They don't have that much mana. 
If they have double, well, let's try evoking a mold drifter. They have a red blast. Try again. Counter spell. Counter spell. Another counter spell. Okay. Plays arcane answer. Yeah, I think we're just gonna scoop here. I mean, what are we gonna do? They have counter spell in hand. I guess we can respond to Ephemerate with the last breath, but then they just get that counter spell, so we lose. They just had too much stuff in hand. We didn't get we didn't uh, get there. I should have been paying attention to how many. Um... Okay, I'm I'm gonna do something really crazy, and I'm gonna bring in my dust to dusts. See if I can really wreck their mana base. So I can get rid of the last breath, maybe. That's not a good hand. We're gonna mulligan. Ugh. I'll keep this one. This is so bad, but I don't want to go deeper. We have good land drops. We have counter spells eventually. Our opponent, get mul our opponent mulligans to five. We need some blue mana. They land. They lean on a plains, so they're gonna cycle a Lorien Reveal here. Pick up the Mortuary Mire. They cycle the Lorien Revealed for a regular island. Plays the island into Augur Bolas. What do they find? Red Elemental Blast. I'm gonna play Modern Age. I'll discard the familiar, play the Mortuary Mire. I'm not gonna put it on top because I need to draw lands. They could if they have a red land, they could blast my modern age. Right now they basically just have nothing. Okay, mountain. Then for one. Does not wildfire me. Draw a card and discard. We'll discard this last breath. Play the floodplain. They play a bridge. It's in for one. Alright, now we have a 2-3 flyer. And we have an island. So I can evoke a Moldrifter just for cards, and I can respond with a Hydroblast. Let's evoke. And we'll counter the Red Blast. And if they have a Dispel for the Red Blast, we can just counterspell the Red Blast again. We draw two cards. In two turns, we can Moldrifter with protection. They're going to evoke and ephemerate a Moldrifter. That's brutal. Plays a tap land. Okay. I think I probably should just use the Lauren Revealed here. More cards. That's the turn. Okay, we do have Dust to Dust and Counterspell, so that's a thing. That could be useful. There are eight cards in hand. They might wildfire my land. They wildfire their own land. <clears throat> They're passing the turn. Okay, I'm going for the Dust to Dust. This is an unusual play pattern for me, but let's see what happens. I cannot red blast that. They cycle land. Hmm. We're taking them down a peg on mana, hopefully. And they could counterspell here, but I have prohibit. Now I have. Now they don't have that many lands now. So once again, I'm up on mana on them. I would not recommend doing dust to dust unless they're very, very greedy with their mana base. They're unlikely to play out any more bridges. They have counterspell mana plus red blast mana. We have Prohibit. They play an Augur of Bolas. Okay. A Whiff. That's really good for me. I guess, obviously. We don't have any Ephemerates. They cast a Preordain. They cannot Counterspell at the moment. They went top, top. That's scary. All right. Uh, what are we going to do here? One, two, one, two, three, four. So let's go Familiar. Because then we can cast Prohibit for one mana. I can cast the Arcane Answer, then I don't have double counter. So I'll just per Beardane looking for lands and deep analysis. Find the deep analysis. Two, three. So let's top and top. Play the land. Pass the turn. They're going to scred my familiar. I think I'm just going to take it. Like, I'm going to fight over the things that are the big mana or the counterspelling my draw spells versus fighting over. Just, you know, my mana advantage. Definitely rough. I feel like they're very ahead. This next turn, we can cast Deep Analysis off these cards, leaving up Counterspell plus Prohibit still. They could attack with two Augur of Bolas and get one damage in, but it looks like they're not going to go for that. Let's Deep Analysis. I will Counterspell. Counterspell again. All right, so they're going to resolve an Ephemerate. We get to resolve a Deep Analysis, and it's not a fair trade for me. A Brainstorm. Pretty brutal. Find a counterspell. Let's play the Broker's Hideout and we'll grab an island. <sighs> Just sitting back on our Vector Glider. It's not doing that much. Ephemerate resolves on the Moldrifter. 
Okay, they open themselves up to dust to dust again. They're going to Archaeomancer, getting back the Ephemerate, and then just double Ephemerate most likely. Getting back Ephemerate, getting back Ephemerate again. So I can cast Archaeomancer, I can dust their lands, and they'll have one Ephemerate in hand. I don't have any Ephemerates. I'm going to Archaeomancer for dust to dust. Get rid of your lands. And then I'm going to just draw two off the deep analysis and pick up the Mortuary Mire. They're ephemerating, getting back ephemerate, and ephemerate for ephemerate again. Plays a land. Ephemerate, getting back what? Dispel. Okay. No attacks for our opponent. They have to discard the hand size. Now I'm really sad that I don't have any uh, snaps in the deck because I could try to get rid of their board. We draw a counter spell. Let's see. Let's try a Moldrifter. They're Red Blast. But we know they have Dispel in hand. I'm going to Mortuary Mire, getting back a Moldrifter. The Ephemerate. Get back the Ephemerate. So they have two Ephemerates and a Dispel in hand. And a counter spell. Trying to get them to use their as much mana as possible this turn. Interesting. They're going to Ephemerate right now? No. Let's cast a Moldrifter. Okay. So they, let's counterspell. They cast a dispel, then they're going to ephemerate, get back counterspell. So frustrating. Only good cards. <laughs> so they are going to red blast this now. I don't have any answer. And my best hope is to evoke this. But they just have the double ephemerate loop going. If I find an ephemerate, I can get there. Preordain. So frustrating. Uh, bottom, top, I guess. Have to run them through all of their mana somehow. So they have ephemerate, they have to ephemerate for the ephemerate because we lost they lost the one ephemerate. They have triple ephemerate right now. Ugh. Ephemerate, get back ephemerate, blah blah blah. Okay. Ephemerate, get back red blast. Red blast your mancer. Oh, they're gonna evoke a mold drifter holding up just red blast. So maybe I can find my own ephemerate somehow before they do anything, and then I can last breath their mancer and stop this whole chain. Kind of dust to dust, that's not very helpful. Let's deep analysis. Maybe I should have cast the modern age first. Deep analysis again. Beardane. Okay, I can flicker and then kill that. So I'm gonna bottom, hmm. bottom, top, flicker here, get back the last breath. Murder this thing. Send. Probably was not wise to attack, honestly, but whatever. They're likely going to ephemerate their mold drifter, draw a million cards. They're at 11 cards in hand. Eight minutes on clock. They play a non bridge land. Kills the Mancer. They're going to attack for four. Plays Murmuring Mystic. Maybe they have a counter spell in hand. We get in. We go to 11. We need our own counter spells. What are you gonna do now? Eight cards in hand. Seven minutes on the clock. They're gonna discard a million cards. They they still have one ephemerate in hand, apparently. We find a familiar. Let's play familiar. Play the modern age. Discard the dust to dust. Play modern age. Looking for a counter spell here. They counter this, then I can draw three cards. Discard a land. Play modern age again. <laughs> I'll attempt to draw three. They probably have a counterspell. Should not have played the last Modern Age there. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay. Plays a land. Brainstorms. Making birds. You don't really have any way to deal with the birds without the snaps. Suck. Plays Augur of Bolas. Nat clears the brainstorm. This is a long and unfun game. Wildfire on their own bridge. Making birds. Scred the Vector Glider. Okay, I'm going to block here. I think there's, like, no way for me to win. Maybe, like, last breath my own thing. I'm at six life. I'm going to Ephemerate. Discard the Ash Barons. Discard the Island. Discard the Ephemerate. Try to draw three. Get counterspelled. Concede the game. Ugh, gross. Okay, around four. We're two and one. This hand's fine. We have deep analysis, which I like. 
Our opponent leads on Haunted Mire. That could be Gardens. It could also be Dredge. We're going to preordain. Um, I think I don't want extra lands at this point, given the land drops that we have. We find another familiar. Looks like they're on Dredge. Okay. So what do I want to discard? Probably Deep Analysis. Play the Chancery. Pick up the Island. Discard the Deep Analysis. Then we're going to go Familiar, Snap, Familiar, Deep Analysis. Cycle an Olifant. Getting a Mountain, probably. Yep. See if they exhume. Scrap work, but all right. Gets an acorn harvest in the graveyard. They have dread return available almost. Gets in for two. Land. Bam. I will go ahead and snap your. I guess the scrap work mutt. Hmm. It's kind of hard to say. This one. This one gets in the most value, I think. Snap this one. Untap. Play familiar. And then we'll draw some cards. We're at 15 life. They play Scrap Work Mutt again. They're going to discard a Stinkweed Imp and dredge a ton. Rubble Belt Va Maverick in the graveyard, so they could put a counter on the Blanche, the Blanchewood Prowler, making it a 3-3. They decline. Preordain, I'm looking for Faithfuls now, or Counterspells. Bottom both of these. Chancery, pick up the Island. Let's snap the Prowler, I guess. So otherwise, they can just put the... Dredger back in the graveyard. <clears throat> in deep analysis. Draw. I'm looking for a faithful. Play the modern age. Discard one of my extra lands. And pass the turn. I cycle a generous end. I think I probably have to discard the Lorien reveal, though I don't want to. Actually, I can go like snap, mancer, snap, snap, ephemerate, snap again, and then not play Lorien revealed. <laughs> Clear their board completely and make them have to cast everything again. If they cast the Acorn Harvest, they'll have enough to use the Dread Return on something, but they don't currently... Oh, they do have a lot of the Giant right now for 6 damage. It'll be 8 damage if they use these ones. Will you Lotlith or will you Oliphant? They return a Lotlith Giant. We take a bunch of damage. But we have... I guess I can discard the Familiar here. I can destroy evil the Lotlith Giant. It kind of gives it back to them, though. Let's start on Snap the Squirrel, untap, and draw some cards. There's a Faithful. Play the Faithful. Seven cards in the graveyard. I can Cycle the Loring Revealed for an Island. Play the Island. Then I can... Oh, I can't play the Island right now. That's not good. Okay, I guess I... The only the... I guess I just Drifter Ephemerate. Or I can just cast a Drifter here. Cast a Drifter. Now I know what I'm doing. Could have Drifter Ephemerated plus the Modern Age, maybe. Looks like I'm going to just try to chump the Lotla Giant here and then start holding up Counterspell for later. Being at 9, life is not very good. It took a long time to find a Faithful. They have 6 mana. They get in for 6 damage. I'm going to chump. Stay at 9. They bring back the Mutt, putting the um, Stinkweed Imp in the graveyard. 7 creatures in the graveyard right now. Red return, but no, no giant. They have 10 creature cards in the graveyard. They could dread return something else and then dread return the, the giant. Oh man, definitely tight. I'll have counterspell up next turn. Dread return on the Stater Wayfinder, looking for a lot with giant. All right, I guess we're dead. Oh well. All right, we lose. I feel like <laughs> that could have gone better. Bring the prismatic strands. Destroy evil, but this, I don't think I really need the snap or the cleric. Maybe I'll cut one deep analysis. So I have 800,000 counter spells and a prismatic strands as well as life gain. My hand was just too slow and then like my interaction was snapping them out, which I guess just gave them too much value. So it wasn't really the right plan. It's kind of hard to play through the dredge deck. All right, let's play first. Can't keep this one. This is a sucky hand. Do I keep it? I'm going to keep it. Get rid of a counterspell. My goal is to find lands off this preordain. Any lands and I can start modern aging. <laughs> bottom, bottom. Come on. Okay, we found an Ash Barons, which is useful. We can Ash Barons into a Faithful and then modern age on the next turn. Cycle. We'll play the Plains and a Faithful. And I don't know why my... Um, 
library is showing up at the bottom of the screen there. It's really weird. Troll of Casa Doom. They're just going to... <laughs> they're just going to exhume it right now. Now I have to look for a snap, which I think I cut one. Let's Modern Age. Discard a flicker. Pass the turn. I get rid of I have a rotten reunion in the graveyard, so now I'm afraid to discard the ephemerate. What a bummer. Just gets in with the 6-5. Okay. If I have to find a snap, which I don't find. Don't even find a land. Deep analysis. Okay. Let's try to draw. We're at 12. Okay. So at least now we can prismatic strands on black. Assuming they tap off black on their turn. Scrapwork Mutt. They're going to discard. It's in for eight. And they're leaving their black mana open. We go to five. Cast a Prowler. Okay. Finds a lot with Giant in the graveyard. No uh, red return yet. I just can't draw land to save my life. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Let's go Modern Age. We'll discard the strands, play the chancery, finally drawing the land, and pass the turn. They're getting in. They really should have used the dread the uh, rotten reunion before attacks. Okay, block. Can't really do anything else. Have to block. Let's strands on black. If they have a flaring pain, I'm just gonna be really sad. Black. Okay. They unearth the scrapwork mutt. They could maybe discard a Dread Return. They discard a Stinkweed Imp. Don't find a Dread Return yet. They have 10 creature cards in the graveyard. So, unfortunately, I think I have to, like, Faithful, Faithful, Modern Age. I really need a Snap. Still not drawn a Snap. Let's draw and discard. Still no Snap. I can go Familiar, Faithful, Familiar, Faithful, Modern Age. Discard this. Play the planes. Play the faithful. Play another faithful. Play a modern age. Gain some life. Going to nine. I guess I'm discarding my ephemerate here, probably. Okay, I'll just discard the extra land. A rotten reunion, the flicker. Highly expected. What am I gonna do, really? Bring back the mutt. They discard the stinky imp. They dredge some more. All they gotta do is find a dread return here. They don't find a dread return. I guess they're somewhat unlucky. Seder Wayfinder. Not as unlucky as me, I guess. <laughs> Did they get it? Yep. Okay, GG. <sighs> Try again. Round five. I feel like my luck has not been with me the last two rounds. Let's gonna mulligan this one. I'm gonna keep and get rid of Preordain. Okay. Play land and preordain looking for another land. Didn't find any. I was hoping that I could find a land and I could just turn to the Modern Age. Pretty brutal. That's okay. Opponent plays a forest and a wall. They're on walls. All right, that's good. So Chancery, pick up the plane or the island and let's cycle. It's getting a land. Your turn. This turn we can go land, snap, Modern Age, Deep Analysis. Or we could just land snap deep analysis, draw two, next turn go modern age deep analysis again. We do want to make sure that their creatures are gone. So they can tap the query in this, untap, play land, play a two drop. I think I can play a two drop anyway. Plays a battlement. Okay, so what's my plan here? I think I need to draw cards as fast as possible. So let's snap this. Untap, untap. Modern age. Discarding the deep analysis. We find another snap. That's really good. Draw two cards. Familiar. We have snap. We have flicker. So we're looking for an Archaeum answer now. Or a Moldrifter would be okay. A Winding Way. Uh, they kind of whiff there. They found forest, shield wall forest, and some other forest that's really hard to read. Discard island. Go land. Sunscape familiar. Snap this. Untap and draw, and draw again. Did not find uh, an Archaeum answer here. They're making four mana so they can play a Shield Wall Sentinel. Then they can cast the Overgrown Battlement. They have an Axe Bane in hand. It's Overgrown Battlement. Combo Walls. 
Okay, we don't draw anything. Let's preordain. Lorian revealed Modern Age. Pop, pop this. Hit the Chancery. Pick up this. So I can Modern Age, discard this Broker's Hideout, and then snap their Battlement, untap, and cast Lorian Revealed. And then I guess I think I'm going to Ephemerate the Vector Glider and discard a Faithful. I'm trying to draw into my Arcane Mancer. Plays an Axe Bane Guardian. We've played one, two, three snaps so far. Plays a Battlement. So they could get there and kill me on the next turn. So the Ephemerate's going to resolve. And then we draw, discarding this. Draw, discarding the Faithful. I'm going to go Preordain. There's the Mancer. Bottom, top, land. Go Archaea Mancer. Get back Ephemerate. Ephemerate the Mancer. Get back the Snap. Snap the Axe Bane. Untap, untap. Play Sunsky Familiar. And we should be okay now. Lazy Axe Bane. Mm hmm. Overgrown Battlement. Okay. Green Ranger again. Pass the turn. We're going to cycle for an untap island and draw. They have a bunch of mana with these two, so the important thing is just keeping them off of colored sources. So we definitely have to snap the Axe Bane. Let's see what happens here. Find another snap. All right, let's snap the Axe Bane Guardian. Boing. And then play Flicker on the Vector Glider <laughs> to loot. Discard this. Planes. Let's flicker here. Get back the flicker. All right, we found an ephemera or a mold drifter. Discard this planes. Cast the mold drifter. Draw, draw some cards. Find mortuary mire. All right, what do I want to do here? I think I just have to pass again. But now we're pretty well set up. We have multiple snaps. Max Bank Guardian comes back down. Shield wall sentinel. So they can get the. Um, Balakit, or the red, the red creature that gives everything haste. Tuck Tuck Rebel Fort. What can I do here? Guess I can Ephemerate the Mancer, snap the Axe Bane Guardian, then Flicker looking for a Counterspell. Snap this. Flicker here. Okay, draw two. Let's Flicker again. Find the Arcane Mancer. Hmm. I'm going to Flicker one more time. No counterspell, so now we have to just somehow live through this. They can play the Axe Bane Guardian. Make a bunch of blue. And tap the Axe Bane Guardian. Blah, blah, blah. Drift of Phantasms. Ugh. So we drew so many cards, did not see a counterspell, couldn't keep them off their game, and we ended up losing. Great. That's okay. Erg. Wow. I mean, we tried. Definitely tried. So. All of these cards are bad. Last Breath is good. Prohibit. Lose Focus are fine. And a Hydroblast. Okay. All right, let's keep. So if I go land and turn to the Chancery, then they can play a two drop. But then after that, I'll have Lose Focus available. But if they play a two drop, then I probably won't be able to Lose Focus things. I don't have any ways to draw cards. I do need to cycle this so that I can get a thinner deck. They play in Cerulean Caretaker, which means that they're probably kind of like dependent on their next card that they play. Play the land. Look to counter their two drop. If they play like a Queer and Ranger here, that'll get countered. All right, let's counter the Leaf Collar. Plays another one. Two free. Dang. All right, let's play the Familiar. Now we're just sitting on lands and probably gonna die. Rough. Uh, I guess I should have mulliganed because now they have the combo. They can make infinite of whatever color mana now. And we lose. What a way to go. Lead the stampede for the opponent. Finds caretaker, shield wall, sentinel, generous, and lead the stampede. They've been to lead the stampede. Oh no, that's with lead the stampede. I have a bunch of mana. And their shield wall sent sentinel can get the drift of phantasms. And they can drift for... Drift maybe a couple of times and then win the game. Like, I think this wins, but I don't know exactly. Yeah, Drift of Phantasms. All right. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I 
I don't think I've ever actually gotten so beat up in the end of the, the league. This this deck is very strong. I mean, we crushed the people in the beginning and then just got absolutely destroyed from our draws. And I think on tilt, I ended up keeping a bad hand in the last game there, but hopefully it was entertaining. We'll see you in the next video.